The U.S. military says it fired cruise missiles overnight at three radar sites along Yemen's coast. The strikes were in response to two separate incidents this week when a U.S. Navy ship in the Red Sea area came under fire. This is a big story. David Martin is at the Pentagon. David, good morning. Good morning. The purpose of this strike was very simple, to send the message that anybody who takes a pot shot at a U.S. Navy ship can expect to pay a price. The American warship USS Nitsi launched the Tomahawk cruise missiles into western Yemen before dawn. The White House approved the so-called self-defense strikes on the three remote radar sites in territory controlled by Iranian-backed Houthi rebels. The Pentagon said the strikes, which appeared to have destroyed the radar sites, were conducted to protect our personnel, our ships, and our freedom of navigation. The destroyer USS Mason had been targeted twice, on Sunday and again on Wednesday, while sailing in international waters between Yemen and East Africa. State Department spokesman John Kirby. We're going to continue to encourage and urge all parties, and we're going to do this by and through the U.N. Special Envoy, uh, to, to cease hostilities, stop the violence, reduce the tensions, and return to political okay. talks. This marks the first U.S. military action targeting the Houthi rebels who are trying to overthrow the government of Yemen. The Pentagon says the targets, which were located in remote areas away from civilians, were destroyed. But the real measure of success will be whether it puts an end to attacks on ships. Gail? All right. Thank you very much, David. That is the point. Thank you.